Hello children. Welcome to another radio learning program for P4 Science. This is a continuation of our radio programs produced by Rwanda Education Board with the support from UNICEF Rwanda and in partnership with Inspire, Educate and Empower Rwanda, IEE. My name is Teacher Gerald. I will be teaching my dear Primary for Science. Children, as always, I know you have your notebooks, your pens ready, and then you are having your radio next to you. So after getting the writing materials ready, may you sit next to the radio, tune it to be loud enough, and be ready to listen to it keenly. The parents are good people because they support our learning and we commend you for that work. Be ready to continue supporting the learners and follow up what they are doing as you sit next to them and support them where necessary. Thank you. Now children, last time we talked in our song that we had joy. So our song today is not going to be joy, but it is going to be love. So instead of joy, joy, we are going to say love, love. And that is going to be our warm-up song for today. Is that clear? Good. Ready? I want you to listen as I'm going to sing two times. And then you repeat together with me for the third time. Great. I've got love, 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 love down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got love, 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 love down in my heart. Down in my heart today I have got love, 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 love Down in my heart Down in my heart Down in my heart I have got love, 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 love Down in my heart Down in my heart today Children, can you join me and we sing for the Third time. Good. Go. I have got love, 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 love down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I have got love, 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 love down in my heart. Down in my heart today. That is great. Now. Children, can you remember what we learned about last time? Very, very good. In our last lesson, we learned about parts of a plant and their functions. We learned about parts of a plant and their functions. Is that correct? Fine. Now, can you mention the different parts of the plant that we talked about? Marvelous. The parts of the plant that we talked about in our last lesson include the root, the stem, the leaf, the flower, and the fruits. Is that clear? Great. Children, can you again mention the three types of plants that we discussed. Good. The three types of plants that we talked about include the trees, the shrubs, and the herbs. Is that correct? Very good. Now, good children, today we are going to do an end of unit revision. As always we've done, you will take your notebook and write on top 
Revision exercise. Write that one down. Good. Can you underline it well? Wonderful. Are you ready? Revision question one. When a seed gets enough air, water, and sunlight, it grows into a seedling. I'm repeating the statement. When a seed gets enough air, water, and sunlight, it grows into a seedling. I hope you have written that statement. Good. Now, this process is known as, and I want you to choose from these four. This process is known as, choice A, germination. Germination. Choice B, pollination. Choice C, dispersion. And choice D, none of these. Can you choose one process? Good. The right process is germination. Germination. Question number two. The tall plants are called dash. The tall plants are called dash. Can you choose from these choices? Number A, shrubs. Number B, hubs. Number C, trees. Number D, none of these. The tall plants are called dash. Number A, shrubs. Number B, hubs. Number C, trees. Number D, none of these. Which one is the right one? Great. The right one are trees. The tall plants are called trees. Good. Question number three. Revision question number three. Dash live for one season or for a few months. Dash live for one season or for a few months. Number A, shrubs. Number B, trees. Number C, hubs. Number D, all of this. Great. The right answer is the hubs. The hubs. Now, question number four. Fruits are produced from... Write that question well. Fruits are produced from dash. Choice A, roots. Choice B, stems. Choice C, leaves. And choice D, flowers. Can you choose? Choice A, roots. Choice B, stems. Choice C, leaves. And choice D, flowers. Good. The right answer is fruits are produced from flowers. Is that correct? Great. Revision question number five. Are you ready? Wow. Dash transports water and minerals from the roots to the leaves and fruits. Dash transports water and minerals from the roots to the leaves and fruits. Choice A, the root. 
Choice B, leaf. Choice C, stem. Choice D, the flower. The choice A, the root. Choice B, leaf. Choice C, stem. Choice D, the flower. Which one transports water and minerals from the roots to the leaves and fruits? Good. The right answer is the stem. Are we together? Great. Now, question six. Now, I want you to divide your page into two columns. Divide the page into two columns. Column A on the left and column B on the right. Good. In column A, write the following downwards. Number one, seeds. Hibiscus and spinach. Number in column B, write the following downwards. Germinate and grow into new plants. Shrubs and herbs. Germinate and grow into new plants. Shrubs and herbs. Is that clear? Good. Now, this is what we are going to do. You are going to write under A, we wrote A, seeds. Then B, you wrote hibiscus. Then C, you wrote spinach. Now, I want you to match them with what we put on side B. On side B, we wrote germinates and grow into new plants. We also wrote herbs and we also wrote shrubs. Now, can you match them? Great. The matching is seeds are matched with germinates and grow into new plants. Seeds are matched with germinate and grow into new plants. Then hibiscus is connected or matched with shrubs. Hibiscus is a shrub. Good. Then number C, spinach is matched with the herbs. Spinach is matched with the herbs. Are we together, my friends? Perfect, perfect. Now, question seven. State whether the following statements are true or false. I will read the statement, you write it, then you write true or false. Question A. Seeds germinate and grow into new plants. True. Question B. Epigial germination occurs in maize seeds. Epigial germination occurs in maize seeds. Is it true or false? The answer is false. Number C. Hypogeal germination occurs in bean seeds. Hypogeal germination occurs in bean seeds. True or false? The answer is false. Number D, 7D. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. True or false? Good. Question 7E. Flowers are the reproductive parts of a plant. Flowers are the reproductive parts of a plant. True or false? True. It is true. Now, question 8. Can you write something to show the meaning of J 
germination. Can you write something to show the meaning of germination? Wow! Germination is the growing of seeds into seedlings. The growing of seeds into seedlings. Is that clear? Good. Number nine, question nine. List the two types of germination. List the two types of germination. Good. They are epogil and hypogil. The two types of germination are epogil and hypogil. Question number 10. Write the names of two shrubs that you know. Write the names of the two shrubs that you know. Good. Hibiscus, cotton, the rose plant, and tea plant. Any of the, the three, if you write any two, that is correct. Do you understand? Perfect. Let us continue. Write any two functions of the roots. Write any two functions of the root. Mm -hmm. They are roots fix the plant into the soil. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. In some plants, roots store extra food. Any of the two, any of the three, if you write two, you are right. Question 12. We eat some flowers. Can you name any two flowers that we eat? Great. The cauliflower and the broccoli. Great. Now, number 13. Write any two functions of flower and fruits. Write any two functions of the flower and the fruit. Flowers. Mm -hmm. Good. The list is flowers turn into fruits. Number one, they give off a sweet smell. Flowers like pyrethrum are natural insecticides. And we eat some flowers. Any of the four, if you write two of them, you are right. Is that great with you? Wow. What of fruits? Fruits protect the seeds. Number two, fruits are a part of our diet. Number three, fruits are rich in minerals and vitamins. Number four, fruits bear seeds which help in reproduction. Number five, seeds of some fruits like black pepper are used as medicine. Out of the five, the any two that you have written, you are right, my friend. Is that clear? Great. In our next lesson, you will be coming with your textbooks or printed pages from page 226 to 252. We will really need to use them. Is that clear? Very, very good. That will be the end of our revision exercise and the end of plans. Until we meet in the next radio lesson, bye-bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children.